You do like whiskey, we like whiskey. We're the Craft Whiskey Boys, we have a whiskey channel. Here's some of the stuff that we do. We have the channel where you can find all the best whiskey tips. We visit a lot of the best whiskey bars. Amazing. Beautiful. A whiskey bar. Actually, a sports bar. I didn't rate it at all. He didn't like it. <laughs> We're about to try one of the most expensive whiskeys on the shelf, the Chichiboo. We're bringing you the inside scoop from the industry professionals, but more importantly, a heavy dose of some tomfoolery. Tomfoolery? <laughs> what? Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm back. That's right. Two minute, Rick. You. Lads, we're going to Oh. oh. Cheers. David asked us to review this, so we're reviewing it. So thanks, David, for the tip and the recommendation. We're going to let you know how this goes. Cheers, Dave. Mo cuts and mo edits. Craft Whiskey Boys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you comment. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit of chilli in there, which I'm always a fan of. That's a spice. <laughs> the ethanol and the, and the heat in that chilli is mixed with this lovely sweetness that stays on the tongue. A balance there, it's a flavour, it's really kind of coming through, it's really nice. My score on this one, with a really shit drum roll. <laughs> I'll just freestyle it, don't worry about it. Freestyle, baby. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the Two Minute Reviews. Today you're with Solly and Jay, but we also have a special guest, because he's no longer part of the Craft Whiskey Boys, <laughs> Mo. Huh? Yeah, you're damn right. Just because I'm in the countryside, I mean, I don't care. I care a lot. He is still part of the crap, his key boys. He's just been <laughs> just away kidding, for a while. Just kidding, guys. You're all up in arms. <laughs> Get Mo back. I'll use five people that come in. <laughs> Thankfully, Mo is back with us, but not with us, if that makes sense. There is a world that's been out of reach until now. And here we are in the rural area of South England. What do we have? A drum shampoo, quite rare. Originates from Ireland in an inaugural release, so we'll see what we think. Proper 12 was named if after If you Dublin rewind 12, the video, but... you'll see I said Crumlin first when these two were shouting Dublin 12. <laughs> Crumlin. Well, that's, that's where you grew up. But then, he, but then he moved out to Lucan. That was a after. draw. So he, he didn't call it Proper Crumlin, did he? He called it Proper 12. Well, <laughs> your argument is Crumlin. <laughs> <laughs> So we know this whiskey. I've, I've got five bottles of this here. This is what my go-to whiskey for a fine whiskey at night. We've never reviewed it and scored it though. We've reviewed it once and we've never scored it. 9.2. 9 you scored it higher than Redbreast. Yeah. Oh, you oh. found it, baby. Yeah, yeah. I would never score anything higher than Redbreast yeah. 12. If I was only able to drink one whiskey for the rest of my life, it would, it would be without a doubt Redbreast 12. I love red breast. It's a bloody good whiskey. Now, if you haven't ever had it before, go and fucking buy some. There we go, we're back in. Let's see where else we're gonna talk. We are flying over the mid-Atlantic. We're in New York. Dublin Live. London. Get to it. Sully straight in. Oh, Absolutely fine. <laughs> Do not be knocking me about like a cowboy. I love that it's like taking off and it's all over the world now. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Quite> whiskey boys! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Craft Whiskey Boys, we're going to be doing content on whiskey because it's in our name. Click subscribe. We also go and do content about boys because it's in our name too. And I also do stuff on crafting. Because he made this himself. <laughs> Craft Whiskey Girls. I can't do that. Burr. It's a beautiful fragrance, yes. Get the notes of burrs and... Burke, very burke indeed. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> <laughs>